my dear students how are you feeling today i hope you all are doing great and how is the e learning process going on isn't it new to us it is new to arts teachers and also new to you students isn't it so but you have been sitting since two and a half months in your home you were playing you were spending time with your family you couldn't go outside but that's fine this is the first vacation in your life like this right let's hope and pray that there is no other vacation coming up like this okay so except for your friends are not there your teacher and you are there right so then we can learn something new every day why are we wasting time isn't it so you might be wondering who is this teacher and what all she is saying right do you know me <laughs> no right my name is najita and i am your new evs teacher for the online teaching okay now you know me right so can i ask you some questions I'll ask the questions in between the class, but now I want to ask: Does everyone like EVS? And do you enjoy EVS? You have to respond. Say it louder. Okay, you must be wondering, ma'am cannot hear me. You're pretty sure about that, right? But I want you to answer so that your parents can hear you. Okay. So children tell me do you enjoy EVS Yes or no Some like some does not like isn't it so But let me tell you something that will make your EVS learning so much better Some people don't like EVS because they don't get good marks in it Isn't it and you learn evs because it is a subject from this year onwards what you have to do is evs is a part of the basic science in our life and what is science include science include the study about us the en environment around us the habitat we live and everything is a part of science so it is so interesting to learn science and evs is environmental science isn't it so and look at around you there are so many trees there are ponds lakes beaches forests fields isn't it so water air sunlight the beautiful moon all this you all enjoy looking at the moon at night right you all like going to the beach everyone visits wayanad and munar for what to see the greenery to see the place to enjoy the cold weather right these all are included in environment that is our evs and once you start thinking you have to learn about where we live how are we living in this environment why why are the leaves green why is the water blue why is there water why do humans need water to live if you start asking these questions to yourself then you will like evs marks are important for us but instead of studying for marks study to gain knowledge for yourself try to clear your doubts and keep you questioning yourself okay so that evs studies become so easy and so amazing for you then you will start loving evs the students who love evs might have some students might have this concept but some might have because they are able to learn it easily isn't it so but one thing about evs is that you are not going to forget once you study this 
because once you get to know the concept once you understand what is the thing you will never forget it in your life it is not something you by heart like a language it is something you understand and learn are you getting me students is it clear to you so can we start our grade 4 evs are you excited we are going to learn about the environment we live in we are going to learn about our surroundings and why is it like that why do animals live in house like that why they are ro- like us why they are roaming around why are plants growing in a open space fishes live in the water and we live inside a house why can't we live in the water so we are going to learn about this today okay my dear students shall we start so in grade 4 you are going to have part 1 and part 2 textbooks for evs and in the part 1 we have six subjects okay and the chapter 1 is forests and fields or fields and forests okay your chapter number 1 is fields and forests now what is the field it's a place isn't it it's a place where we have plants growing right we have rice growing in a field we play at times in a field isn't so and what is a forest have you ever visited a forest if you have visited tell me a name of a forest or tell me a forest you know have you heard about the mutanga forest in wayanad yes that is a forest and if you have visited there tell me what is the difference between forest and a place we live in it is full of trees isn't it so it's completely filled with trees greenery and dried leaves are scattered around there are wild animals inside tell me who is the king of the forest it's a very easy question isn't it so your grown up children now even first standard kids will understand this but tell me i want you to turn i want you to be energetic in my class and listen to everything i say the king of the forest makes a sound roar isn't it so and it is ferocious who is it it is the lion isn't it so so why can't lion live in my house why is lion going and living in the forest why is it so and why can't lion cook food like us why is it going and killing other animals and then eating it raw have you wondered about this this is how you learn evs okay my dear children are you clear with it so how about we go and take our textbook come you're thinking how will i take my textbook i don't have my textbook with me what is this ma'am saying i have sent you the screenshots of the textbook isn't it so you have to look at it i told you to read it twice or thrice i hope all of you have done it otherwise please pause the video and read it once and if you do not do not have your rough book pause the video go run take your rough book come and sit here and then we will be beginning the class okay so ma- ma'am will move away from the screen and i'll bring the textbook so that it would be more easier for you to watch okay dear students so we will start reading the textbook and miss will explain more about it so everyone is ready tell me louder okay so we are going to begin our grade 4 evs class 